चैप्टर टू क्लास एलेवन बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन सिंस द डाउन ऑफ सिविलाइजेशन देयर हैव बीन मेनी अटैम्प्ट टू क्लासीफाई लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम इट वॉज डन इंस्टिंगटिवली नॉट यूजिंग क्राइटेरिया डेट वे आर साइंटिफिक बट बॉर्न आउट ऑफ अ नीड टू यूज ऑर्गेनिजम्स फॉर आवर ओन यूज फूड फूड शेल्टर एंड क्लोथिंग Aristotle was the earliest to attempt a more scientific basis for classification. He used simple micro morphological characters to classify plants into trees, shrubs and herbs. He also divided animals into two groups, those which had red blood and those which did not have. Linnaeus time two kingdom system of classification with the planty and animalia. Kingdom was developed that include all plants and animals respectively. This system did not distinguish between the eukaryotes and prokaryotes, unicellular and multicellular, and photosynthetic green algae and non-photosynthetic fungi organisms. Classification of organism into plants and animals was easily done and was easy to understand, but a large number of organisms did not fall into either category. Hence, the two kingdom classification used for a long time was found inadequate. Besides gross morphology, a need was also felt for including other characteristics like structure, nature of wall, mode of nutrition, habitat, methods of reproduction, evolutionary relationships, etc. Classification system for the living organisms have hence undergone several changes over the time though plant and animal kingdoms have been a constant under all different systems and understanding of what groups organism be included under these kingdoms have been changing the number and the nature of other kingdom have also been understood differently by different scientists over the time so here is the table cell type prokaryotic eukaryotic 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 monera protista fungi planty and animalia five kingdom classification system mode of nutrition autotrophic autotrophic heterotrophic autotrophic and heterotrophic holozoic saprophytic etc so level of organization cellular cellular multicellular tissue or organ tissue organ or organ system so these are the classification टेबल आर एच वी टेकर नाइनटीन सिक्सटी नाइन परपोज फाइव किंगडम क्लासीफिकेशन द किंगडम्स डिफाइंड बाई हिम वी आर नेम्ड मोनेरा प्रोटिस्टा फंगी प्लांटी एंड एनिमलिया द मेन क्राइटेरिया फॉर क्लासीफिकेशन यूज बाई हिम इंक्लूड सेल स्ट्रक्चर बॉडी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन रिप्रोडक्शन एंड फाइलोजेनेटिक रिलेशनशिप सो टेबल गिव्स अ कंपेरेटिव अकाउंट ऑफ डिफरेंट करेक्टराइजेशन ऑफ करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ फाइव किंगडम so the three domain system has also been proposed that divides the kingdom monera into two domains leaving the remaining eukaryotic kingdoms in the third domain and thereby a six kingdom classification you will learn about this system in details at higher classes let us look at the five kingdom classification to understand the issue and consideration that influenced the classification system earlier classification system included bacteria blue green algae fungi mosses ferns gymnosperms pumps and the angiosperms under plants the character that unified this whole kingdom was that all the organisms included had a cell wall in their cells this placed together groups which widely differed in other characteristic it brought together in, in the prokaryotic bacteria and the blue green algae cyanobacteria with other groups which were eukaryotic it also grouped together with the unicellular organisms and the multicellular ones once say for example clemodomnas and sparogera were placed together under algae the classification did not differentiate between the heterotrophic group and the fungi and the autotrophic group green plant though they also showed a characteristic difference in their walls composition the fungi had chitin in their walls while the green plant had cellulogic cell wall when such characteristic were considered the fungi were placed in a separate kingdom kingdom fungi all prokaryotic organisms were grouped together under kingdom monera and unicellular eukaryotic organisms were placed in kingdom protista kingdom protista has brought together were placed in kingdom protista has brought together clemodomonas chlorella earlier placed in algae within the plants and both having cell walls with paramecium and amoeba which were early placed in the animal kingdom which lack cell wall it has put together organisms which 
in earlier classification were placed in different kingdom this happened because the criteria for classification changed this kind of changes will take place in future too depending on improvement in our understanding of the characteristic and evolutionary relationships over time an attempt has been made to evolve a classification system which reflect not only the morphological physiological reproductive similarities but is also phylogenetic that is based on the evolutionary relationship in this chapter we will study characteristic of kingdom monera protista fungi and whittaker system of classification that is five kingdom classification the kingdom plantia and animalia co commonly referred to as a plant and animal kingdom respectively will be dealt separately in chapter 3 and 4 which, which is our next chapter kingdom monera bacteria are sole members of the kingdom monera the universal line they are the most abundant or microorganisms bacteria occurs almost everywhere hundreds of bacteria are present in a handful of soil they also live in extreme habitats such as hot spring desert snow and deep oceans where very few other life forms can survive many of them live in our other organisms as parasites bacteria are grouped under four categories based on their shapes the spherical coccus plural cocci the rod shaped bacillus plural bacilli and the common comma shaped vibrium that is plural vibrio and the spiral spirulum that is spirilla in figure 2.0 we can see the four shapes of the bacteria though the bacterial structure is very simple they are very complex in behavior A structure is very simple but complex behavior complex in behavior compared to many other organisms bacteria as a group show the most extensive metabolic diversities some of the bacteria are autotrophic that is they synthesize their own food from inorganic substrates substrates they may be photosynthetic autotrophic or chemosynthetic autotrophic the vast majority of bacteria are heterotrophs that is they depend on other organisms or on dead organic matter for food so archaea bacteria these bacteria are special since they live in some of the most harsh habitat such as extreme salty areas halophiles hot springs the thermoacidophiles and marshy areas methanogens archaea bacteria differs from other bacteria in having a different cell wall structure and this feature is responsible for their survival in extreme condition methanogens are present in the gut of several ruminant animals such as cow and buffalo and they are responsible for the production of methane which is biogas from the dung of these animals eubacteria these are the uh, there are the thousands of different eubacteria or also known as true bacteria they are characterized by the presence of a rigid cell wall and if motile a flagellum the cyanobacteria also referred to as blue green algae have come chlorophyll a similar to green plants and are photosynthetic autotroph these cyanobacteria are unicellular colonial filamentous freshwater marine or terrestrial algae colonies are generally surrounded by gelatinous sheath they often form blooms in polluted water bodies some of these organisms can fix atmospheric nitrogen in specialized cells called heterocyst example nostoc and anabena chemosynthetic autotrophic bacteria oxidize various inorganic substrates such as nitrates nitrites and ammonia and used the released energy for their atp production they play a great role in recycling nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus iron and sulfur heterotrophic bacteria are most abundant in nature the majority are important decomposers many of them have a significant impact on human affairs they are helpful in making curd from milk production of antibiotics fixing nitrogen in legume roots etc some are pathogens causing damage to human beings crops farm animals and pests pets chlorella typhoid tetanus citrus canker are well known disease caused by different bacteria bacteria reproduce mainly by fission sometimes under favorable conditions they produce a spore they also reproduce by a sort of sexual reproduction by adopting a primitive type of dna transfer from one bacterium to other 
द माइकोप्लाज्मा आर ऑर्गेनिजम्स डेट कम्प्लीटली लैक अ सेल वॉल दे आर द स्मॉलेस्ट लिविंग सेल नॉन एंड कैन सर्वाइव विदाउट ऑक्सीजन मैनी माइकोप्लाज्मा आर पैथोजेनिक इन नेचर एंड प्लांट्स किंगडम प्रोटिस्टा ऑल सिंगल सेल यू क्रियोट्स आर प्लेस्ड अंडर प्रोटिस्टा बट द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ दिस किंगडम्स आर नॉट वेल डिफाइंड वॉट मे बी अ फोटोसिंथेटिक प्रोटिस्टन टू वन बायोलॉजिस्ट मे बी अ प्लांट टू अनदर इन दिस बुक वीक इंक्लूड क्रेसोफाइट्स डेनोफ्लेजलेट्स यूगलिनोइड्स स्लाइम मोल्स एंड प्रोटोजोवंस अंडर प्रोटिस्टा मेम्बर्स ऑफ प्रोटिस्टा आर प्राइमली एक्वेटिक द दिस किंगडम फॉर्म्स अ लिंक विद द अदर्स डीलिंग विद प्लांट्स एनिमल्स एंड फंजाई बींग यू क्रियोट्स द प्रोटिस्टन्स सेल बॉडी कंटेंट्स अ वेल डिफाइंड न्यूक्लियस एंड अदर मेम्ब्रेन बाउंड ऑर्गेनल्स सम हैव फ्लेजिला और सिलिया protista produce reproduce asexually and sexually by a process involving cell fusion and zygote formation chrysophytes this group includes diatoms and golden algae desmids they are found in fresh water as well as in marine environment they are microscopic and float passively into water currents plankton most of them are photosynthetic in diatoms in the cell walls from two thin overlapping cells which fit together as in a soap box the walls are embedded with silica and thus walls are indestructible thus diatoms have left behind large amount of cell wall deposit in their habitat this accumulation over billions of years is referred to as diatomaceous earth being gritty this solid soil is used in polishing filtration of oils and syrups diatoms are the chief producers in the ocean dinoflagellates these organisms are mostly marine and photosynthetic they appear yellow green brown blue or red depending on the main pigments present in their cells the cell wall has stiff cellulose plates on outer surface most of them have two flagella one lies longitudinally and the other transversely in a furrow between the wall plates very often red dinoflagellates example goniolex undergo such rapid multiplication that they make the sea appear red red tides toxins uh, released by such large numbers may even kill other marine animals such as fishes euglenoids majority of them are fish fresh water organisms found in stagnant water instead of cell wall they have a protein rich layer called pellicle which make their body flexible they have two flagella a short and a long one though they are photosynthetic in the presence of sunlight when deprived of sunlight they believe behave like heterotrophs by predating on other smaller organisms Int- interestingly the pigments of euglenoids are identical to those present in higher plants example euglena now slime mold slime molds are saprophytic protist the body moves along decaying twig twigs and leaves euglifying organic material under suitable condition they form an aggregation called plasmodium which may grow and spread over several feet during unfavorable condition the plasmodium differentiates and form fruiting bodies bearing spores at their tips the spores possess true walls they are ex- extremely resistant and survive for many years even under adverse condition the spores are dispersed by air currents protozoans all protozoans are heterotrophs and live as predator or parasite they are believed to be primitive relatives of animals they are four major groups of protozoans amoeboid protozoans these organisms live in fresh water sea water and or moist soil they move or capture their prey by putting out pseudopodia false feet as in amoeba marine forms have silica cells on their surface some of them as inter amoeba are parasites flagellated protozoans second one is flagellated protozoans the members of this groups are either free living or parasitic they have flagella the parasitic forms cause diseases such as sleeping sickness example trypanosoma third is ciliated protozoans these are aquatic actively moving organisms 
because of the presence of thousands of cilia they have a cavity gullet that opens to the outside of the cell surface the coordinated movement of rows of the cilia causes the water laden with food to be steered into the gullet example paramecium and the last and fourth one sporozoans this includes diverse organisms that have an infectious spore like stage in their life cycle the most notorious in plasmodium mal malarial parasite which causes malaria a disease which has a staggering effect on human population now kingdom fungi the fungi constitute a unique kingdom of heterotrophic organisms they show a great diversity in morphology and habitat you must have seen fungi or fungi both are the same things on a moist bread and rotten fruits the common mushroom you eat and toad stools are also fungi which spots seen on mustard leaves are due to parasitic fungus some unicellular fungi uh, example yeast are used to make bread and beer other fungi causes diseases in plants and animals wheat rust causing paxinia is an most important example some are the source of antibiotics example penicillium fungi are cosmopolitan and occur in air water soil and on animals and plants they prefer to grow in warm and humid places have you ever wondered why we keep food in a refrigerator yes it is to prevent from the going bad due to bacterial or fungal infection with the exception of the yeast which are unicellular fungi are filamentous filamentous their bodies consist of a long slender thread like structures called hyphae the network of hyphae is known as mycelium some hyphae are continuous tube filled with multinucleated cytoplasm these are called zygocytic hyphae others have septa or cross walls in their hyphae the cell walls of fungi are composed of chitin and polysaccharides most fungi are heterotrophic and absorb soluble organic matter from dead substrates and hence are called saprophytes those that depend on living plants and animals are called parasites they can also live as symbionts in association with algae as lichens and with roots of higher plants as mycorrhiza Reproduction in fungi can take place by vegetative means fragmentation fission and budding asexual reproduction is by spores called conidia or sporangiospores or zoospores and the sexual reproduction is by oospores ascospores and basidiospores the various spores are produced in the distinct structures called fruiting bodies the sexual cycle involves in the following three steps fusion of protoplasm between two motile and non motile gametes called plasmogamy fusion of two gamete nuclei called karyogamy meiosis in zygotes resulting in haploid spores when a fungus reproduce sexually two haploid hyphae of compatible mating types come together and fuse in some fungi the fusion of two haploid cells immediately results in diploid cells however in other fungi ascomycetes and basidiomycetes and intervening dikaryotic stages that is two nuclei per cells occur such a condition condition is called dikaryon the phase is called dikaryophase of fungus later the parental nuclei fuse with the cells become diploid the fungi form fruiting bodies in which re reduction division occurs leading to the formation of haploid spores the morphology of the mycelium mode of spores formation and fruiting bodies form the basis for the division of the kingdom into various classes so phycomycetes members of phycomycetes are found in aquatic habitat and on decaying wood in moist and damp places or as obligate parasites on plants the mycelium is uh, aseptate and zygocytic asexual reproduction takes place by zoospore motile or by aplenospores non motile these spores are endogenously produced in sporangium a zygospore is formed by fusion of two gametes these gametes are similar in morphology isogamous or dissimilar anisogamous or oogamous some common examples are mucor figure you can see rhizopus the bread mold mentioned earlier and albugo the parasitic fungi on mustard 
So ascomycetes, commonly known as sac fungi, the ascomycetes are mostly multicellular, example penicillium, or rarely unicellular, example yeast saccharomyces. These they are saprophytic decomposers, parasitic or coprophilus, growing on dung. Mycelium is branched and septate. The sexual spores are conidia produced exogenously on the special special mycelium called conidiophores. Conidia on germination produce mycelium. Sexual spores are called ascospores, which are produced endogenously in sac like sky, singular ascus. These sky are arranged in different types of floating bodies called ascocarps. Some examples are aspergillus. Uh, claviceps and neurospora. Neurospora is used extensively in biochemical and genetic work. Many members like morels and truffles are edible and are considered delicious cases. Basidiomycetes. Commonly known from basidiomycetes are mushrooms, bracket fungi or puff walls. They grow in soil or on logs and tree stumps and in living plants bodies as parasites example rust and smuts the mycelium in is branched and septate the asexual spores are genetic generally not found but vegetative reproduction by fragmentation is common the sex organs are absent but plasmogamy is brought about by fusion of two vegetative or somatic cells of different strengths or genotypes. The resultant structure is, is dikaryotic which ultimately give rise to basidium. Karyogamy and meiosis takes place in the basidium producing four basidiospores. The basidiospores are exogenously produced on the basidium, the plural basidia. The basidia are arranged in floating bodies called basidiocarps. Some common members are agaricus mushroom, stilago smut, and paxinia rust fungus. Now, deuteromycetes, commonly known as imperfect fungi, because only the asexual or vegetative phase of these fungi are known. When the sexual form of these fungi were discovered, they were moved into classes they are rightly belong to. It is also possible that asexual and vegetative states which have been given one name and placed under deuteromycetes and sexual states another and placed under another classes later when the linkages were established the fungi were correctly identified and moved out of deuteromycetes. Once perfect sexual stage of members of deuteromycetes were discovered, they were often moved to ascomycetes and basidiomycetes. The deuteromycetes reproduce only by sex asexual spores known as conidia. The mycelium is septate and branched. Some members are saprophytes or parasites, while a large number of them are decomposers, decomposers of litter and helpful in mineral cycling. Some examples are alternaria, coletotrichum, and trichoderma. Kingdom planty. Kingdom planty includes all eukaryotic chlorophyll containing organisms commonly called plants a few members are partially heterotrophic such as insectivorous plants or parasites bladderworts and venous fly traps are examples of insectivorous plants and cascuta is a parasite the plant cells have eukaryotic structures with prominent chloroplast and cell wall mainly made of cellulose you will study the eukaryotic cell wall structures in details in chapter 8 plenty includes algae bryophytes pteridophytes gymnosperms and angiosperms life cycle of plants has two dif distinct phases the diploid saprophytic and haploid gametophytic that alternate with each other the length of the haploid and diploid phases and whether these phases are free living or dependent on others vary among different groups in plants this phenomenon is called alteration of generation you will study the further details of this kingdom in chapter 3 kingdom animalia this kingdom is characterized by heterotrophic eukaryotic organisms that are multicellular and their cells lack cell wall they directly or indirectly depends on the plants for food they digest their food in an internal cavity and store food reserves as glycogen or fat their mode of nutrition is holozoic by ingestion of food they follow a definite growth pattern and grow into adults that have a definite shape and size higher forms so elaborate sensory and neuromotor mechanism some of them are capable of locomotion 
द सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इज बाई कॉपुलेशन ऑफ मेल एंड फीमेल फॉलोड बाय एम्ब्रायोलॉजिकल इन डेवलपमेंट सैंड फीचर ऑफ वेरियस फाइला आर डिस्क्राइब इन द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर वायरसेस वायरॉयड पोराइंस एंड लाइकन्स इन द फाइव किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन आर एस विटेकर देयर इज अ नो ऑफ आर एस विटेकर देर इज अ नो मैंसन ऑफ लाइकन्स एंड सम ए सिल्वर ऑर्गेनिजम्स लाइक वायरस वायरॉयड एंड प्रायंस दीज आर ब्रीफली इंट्रोड्यूस्ड हेयर ऑल ऑफ अस हु हैव सफर्ड द इल इफेक्ट ऑफ कॉमन कोल्ड और फ्लू नॉन वॉट इफेक्ट वायरस कैन हैव ऑन अस इवन इफ यू डो नॉट एसोसिएट इट विथ आवर कंडीशन वायरस डिड नॉट फाइंड अ प्लेस इन क्लासिफिकेशन सिंस दे आर नॉट कंसिडर ट्रू लिविंग सो इफ अंडरस्टैंड लिविंग एज दोज ऑर्गेनिजम डेट हैव अ सेल स्ट्रक्चर द वायरसेस आर नॉन सेलुलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स डेट आर करेक्टराइज बाय हैविंग एंड इनर्ट क्रिस्टलाइन स्ट्रक्चर आउट साइड द लिविंग सेल once they infect a cell they take over the machinery of the host cell in replicate themselves to replicate themselves killing the host would you re- would you call viruses living or non living virus means venom or poisonous fluid dmitry ivanovsky 1892 the scientist recognized certain microbes as casual organisms of the mosaic disease of tobacco these were found to be smaller than bacteria because they passed through the bacterial proof filters m w wisenick 1898 demonstrated that extract of infected plants of tobacco could cause infection in healthy plants and named the new pathogen virus called the fluid as contiguum vivinum fluidum infectious living fluid wm stanley 1935 showed that virus could be crystallized and crystals consist largely of protein they are inert outside their specific host cell viruses are obligate parasite in addition to protein virus also contain genetic material that could be either rna or dna no virus contain both rna and dna a virus is a nucleoprotein and a genetic material is infectious in general viruses that infect plant have single stranded rna and viruses that infect animals have either single or double stranded rna or double stranded dna bacterial viruses or bacteriophages virus that infect the bacteria are usually double stranded dna viruses the protein coat called capsid made up of a small subunits called capsomere protects the genometric forms viruses cause disease like mumps smallpox herpes and influenza aids in human is also caused by a virus in plants the symptoms can be mosaic formation leaf rolling curling yellowing and when clearing dwarfing and stunted growth viroids in 1971 T.O. Diener, the scientist, discovered a new infectious agent that was smaller than a viruses and caused potato spindle tuber disease. It was found to be a free RNA. It lacked the protein coat that is found in viruses, hence the name viroid. The RNA of the viroid was of low molecular weight. Prions in modern medicine certain infectious neurological disease were found to be transmitted by an agent consisting of abnormally folded protein the agent was similar in size to viruses these agents were called prions the most notable disease caused by prions are bovine spongiform encephalopathy commonly called mad cow disease in cattle and its analogous variant sear jacob disease cjd in human lichens lichens are symbiotic association that is mutually useful association between algae and fungi the algal component is known as the phycobiont and the fungal component is known as the mycobiont which are autotrophic and heterotrophic respectively algae prepare food for fungi and fungi provide shelter and absorb minerals nutrients and water for its partner so close is their association that is one so a lichen in nature one would never imagine that they have two different organisms within them lichens are very good pollu- pollution indicators they do not grow in polluted areas that's it thank you